Hello, everybody. Let's see if I'm in the right place today. Hopefully we are. I, oh yeah, there we are. All right, day three of the sweet candy cane, or day three of 12 days featuring sweet candy canes. I'm not feeling too hot today, you guys, so I think we're gonna just keep it short and sweet today. I don't know what's going on. I hope it's not the beginning of something. <laughs> Nobody's got time for that. Hello, everybody. It's so good to see you. Thanks for joining me. Hope you guys had a great weekend. It was um, kind of a dreary weekend here. We've had just some weird dreary weather that's not typical for San Antonio. Um, today is dreary and warm, which is even worse than dreary and cold. I'd rather it be cold at least. Hi, Patricia. Good to see you guys. All right, so today is day three. Here's the schedule. Um, you can go over to pinkbuckaroo.com. Let's see. Let's make sure it went up on time today. Um, pinkbuckaroo.com. There will be a new post. Yep, there it is. It has this schedule there for you, so you can see what's coming up. Um, today is Sweet Candy Canes. Tomorrow will be Regal Reindeers. Now, tomorrow will be pre-recorded. There won't be a live tomorrow. Um, but I'm trying, hopefully, to go live Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays this week and next week. Um, I've got two projects planned for every day to help you get through to Christmas and hopefully, um, you know, inspire you to get your, your projects made. Um, okay, let's see, where do I want to start? I think what I'm going to do is just dive right in. Um, let's look at the winner from Friday. Um, Judy Cruz, Cruz, Judy, I don't know how to say her last name, but I know you and I believe I have your mailing address already. Um, Judy clicked the link on my blog, went over and answered just a couple of questions. One was, What's your favorite Christmas carol, I believe? And then her name and address. And she is the random winner. She won the Spruce Up Bundle. So congratulations, Judy. I'll get this out to you tomorrow. Um, today, I've got a Hello Beautiful Bundle. It's not a Christmas bundle, but it is still a bundle from the annual catalog. Stamps and dies. If you would like to win, just go to my blog post. Let me just show you guys so you know where it is. Scroll down and right here under the last product list, it says click this link and it'll take you over. And it, today I just wanna know what your favorite Christmas cookie is, your name, your email, and your address. You don't have to worry. I'm not gonna do anything with that information other than mail a prize to one person. Um, so I would love to have as many of you as possible enter to win because I love giving out prizes. Okay, so that will be tomorrow. Actually, you know what? That will be, I on Wednesday when I'm live, I'll announce this winner and tomorrow's winner. So there'll be two winners on Wednesday. So tomorrow, again, at 2 o'clock, make sure you go to my blog, and there will be a new um, prize for you, new, you know, a new um, form for you to fill out. Okay, so Sweet Candy Canes. Interestingly enough, Sweet Candy Canes is in the holiday catalog, and it's retiring, which means it's on the last chance list. So if you go over to uh, stampinup.com and you there's some scrolling banners at the top, the second one says last chance list. If you click on that, it'll show you everything that's leaving. And some of it is discounted and the dies are actually discounted. So, you know, normally when you buy a bundle, you're saving 10%. Um, but during this sale, you want to buy them separately because then you'll be saving even an extra dollar. It's a dollar. You save a dollar 25 when you enter the item code for the dies and for the stamp set. Um, so this, the dies are marked down. I don't know what percentage it is. Um, but it's a pretty good deal. There's a lot of stuff still left. You know, use the last chance list goes real quick. Um, but I was just checking it before I came on, and there is a lot of really good stuff left in there. So check it out if you haven't already. Okay, so first we're going to make a card. And actually, this card holds, let me grab one. I've got a plethora of gift cards over here. Let's see, do I have a Christmas gift card? Yes, I do. From our grocery store, H-E-B, the best grocery store. And it will fit right in there, okay? So a really good card um, to give 
if you're going to give a gift card. The gift card's going to go on the front. And this die right here, let me show you what it is. It looks like this when you cut it out. It's the mini pocket die. Um, and it's really easy. You just run it through. And then you just fold it on those score lines. And then you're just going to put some adhesive. I'm going to use tear and tape. This is craft paper that I've cut it out of. And it's, oh, hello, Mac. Okay, come here. His, his brother and sister got a cookie and he was not around. So hold on, let me give him his cookie. Goodness, you guys cannot let me have a Facebook Live without interrupting me. Um, so this is, you've already had one, sir. You can, <laughs> you can go and lay down. Yeah, go lay down. Charlie thinks I'm giving away two cookies. No, just, no, you just got one. Sorry. Um, craft card stock or craft paper is similar to like your cardboard box, right? And so it, it needs a little bit of extra adhesive, I think. Um, so tear and tape works really well. Liquid glue is always a good one, um, to use with your craft, uh, paper. All right. So put tear and tape on those and then just fold that over like that. And there you have the cutest little card, or cutest little card, gift card holder, the, what I'm trying to say. And that, that die is in the annual catalog. It is one you are gonna use all year. If you're like me and you like to give gift cards, this is a good one. Okay, let's start by doing our stamping. I want you to notice how the candy canes on here are lighter. Uh, they're not full strength. You can decide how you wanna do it. The paper, to me looks like distressed kind of, you know, um, I guess that's the best word for it, distressed a little bit. So I don't know. I don't know if I like the lighter candy canes or if I like the darker candy canes, but I'm gonna show you how to do both. All right, so this set comes with two candy canes, one that faces the left, one that faces the right, and I'm gonna stamp both of them in real red ink on basic white, and then I'm just gonna stamp it again. And that's how you get your lighter candy cane. So I don't know, which one do you guys like better? The lighter, the more like distressed or kind of like country feel. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know, that's what I just feel like. Cause the paper, it looks, you know, like, like blue jean material almost, the little stripes there. Maybe I'm overthinking it. <laughs> Maybe I'm overthinking it just a wee bit, I don't know. Um, candy cane wishes and mistletoe kisses in garden green. And then, oops, that's not the one we want. We're going to stamp the little sprig. One, two, three, four times in garden green ink on garden green cardstock. All right. And then we are going to cut out. Let's cut out. I think since I did... The lighter, let's see, what are you guys saying? Darker, darker, well, lighter, light, okay, yeah. Well, I think we're gonna go with the darker this time since we did the lighter on the original. Let's do that, so let's cut this off. Am I using my mini? I don't know if I actually need to cut these off or not. No, I'm gonna pull the big one in. All right, let's bring that over. Now those um, little sprigs that I stamped, those garden green sprigs, they, um, I've already cut them out ahead of time because there's four of them and I was like, oh, let's just get it done ahead of time. So you don't have to watch me cut everything out, but you do have two sprigs, um, two sprig dies, which does make it go faster. All right. So let's put that there and that there. And then I've got the oval die. Oh, don't tell me the oval die has gone missing. It was here. Did you guys see it? Oh, here it is. Here it is. It was exactly where I had left it. I had just set the stamp on top of it. All right, so we're going to run that through. That oval is from the He's All That dies. You know, the, the dude bundle <laughs> in the annual catalog. All right, so we've got that oval there. We've got our full strength candy canes. Candy cane sounds good right now to me. I kind of am feeling a little queasy. I'm not sure why. 
you know, peppermint helps with that. Hopefully it's just the Monday blues. Goodness, I, have n I do not have time to be getting any kind of stomach bug. All right, let me grab my stamp cleaner, which is right here. And we're gonna clean off that um, sprig stamp. And I've got my craft um, pocket, and we're just gonna stamp these a, a couple of times like this in dark and light. And you're only gonna see it sticking out a little bit, okay? All right, so I cut out my four little sprigs. Here they are. And we're gonna add Wink of Stella to them because Wink of Stella makes everything beautiful. And I was just using it right here. Have you guys gotten your Christmas shopping done? I'm pretty close to being done. I would say I'm about 90% done. But you know how the kids are. The closer we get to Christmas, the their list starts changing. Ugh, it's very annoying. So I try to not get everything right away on, you know, that I was gonna get from their list because then they start changing their mind. Okay, so this is our Simply Elegant trim. And I'm gonna take it and wrap it around like three times, okay? And then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna pinch it in the middle, hopefully, like that, okay? And we're gonna set that down like that. This uh, trim, this Simply Elegant trim is one of Pepper's favorite things to steal from my office. Occasionally we will find a spool of it in the backyard all unraveled. She doesn't eat twine, but she likes to unravel it, which is weird. And it scares me, you know, cause you know, she could get tangled and choke or whatever. So I really try to be careful with that, but <laughs> you can see that this one has, uh, <laughs> it's been peppered, if you will. That dog, it's a good thing she's cute. All right, now let's take our candy canes and I'm gonna put some more dimensionals. I can't see your comments. My iPad is not in the right place. Let me just move this and this and this. So Christmas shopping, you guys wait till the end. You're, Kimberly, you're behind. Ooh, enjoying some hot cocoa and a candy cane while watching. That sounds delicious, very delicious. Um, You know, I did, I think I did everything online this year. Everything. I don't think I went into one store. I used to love doing that, but you know, times change. All right, we're gonna do this and we're gonna do like this to make a little heart, okay? Now don't worry, we're gonna cover that middle part up, okay? Remember our little, our little um, oval that we made? Well, we're gonna stick that right in the middle. What did Carla say? What I meant? I'm about 90% that started. Well, Carla, all you have to do is clickety clack. You can get it all online this year. All online. There's some good sales. You know what? I, I did go to Target early Saturday morning. I woke up, darn it, at 6 a.m. on Saturday. My body was like, it's time to wake up. You may not sleep in. And so I went to Target early and just, you know, did what we do in Target cruised all the aisles, found stocking stuffers. And what I did find is that everything is super expensive this year. You cannot get stocking stuffers for like two or three dollars. I, I feel like we used to be able to just get little things for two or three dollars. Now everything is five or seven dollars. I even went to TJ Maxx to buy, you know, the claw clip things for my girls and seven dollars, six dollars. I'm like, okay, Santa can't afford to fill a stocking with six and seven dollar items. I'm not sure what that's about, but whoa. All right, there's our, our little gift card holder. Now here is, unfortunately, you guys, this is gonna happen, okay? Some of this stuff is already sold out. 
unfortunately, the sweetest Christmas paper is one of the things that has already sold out. But, you know, I've designed my projects ahead of time and there's just no way around it. So that's a piece of that. You could use any, you know, any um, paper that you wanted. Um, the candy canes, we're gonna, in the next project, we're gonna cut the candy canes out from the designer series paper. But if you don't have the paper, don't worry, you can just stamp the candy canes. So, you know, with this set, you can stamp and you can just die cut them. So, you know, you have options. All right, we're gonna put that. So that was the largest scalloped rectangle from the contour scallop dies. We're gonna put that on a white card base and we're almost done. It looks weird without the gift card in it. So I'm gonna put that right there, boop, like that. Last but not least, let's add a little more bling and we'll add a few rhinestones. All right. And there you have, you know, I always think about, um, I always think I have to put the gift card on the inside of the card, but you do not. You can put it on the front of the card like this. Let's put one, let's put one down there. Hide it. Oh, now it was really hidden. Come out. All right, well, fine. We'll replace you with another one. There we go. Oh, I think we need one down here in the corner too like that oh my gosh you use let's use this for a hundred christmas cards wow how about they were adorable that's a lot of christmas cards okay so there we go there's the more like distressed lighter country version if you will and that's the one that's in full strength okay so there's project number one i have a lot of candy cane projects for you guys today so don't run off yet I'm going to show you one more project, but then I'm going to show you some other things that I have. Okay, now next we've got a, a box. And guess what's in here? I bet you can guess. And I bet that my kids ate all the rest of them because they're not here. My kids. Well, that's all right. We can still make it inside. It's, you know, little Debbie. Here she is. The candy cane Christmas cake fits right in here. Now, you guys, this, this little Debbie thing is catching on. I am seeing little Debbie. Yep, Patricia knew. I am seeing little Debbie, the little, this little um, striped cake in other places. Like I saw an advertisement for jewelry. So it was like cute little earrings that look like little Debbie cakes. And I'm thinking, okay, now we need a little Debbie cake stamp set. Wouldn't that have been cute? I should have thought of that. I'm sure there's some licensing problems with that, but wouldn't that be cute? A little Debbie cake tree stamp. Oh, I think that would be so cute. I've seen shirts with the little Debbie cake, uh, Christmas tree cake on it. It's everywhere. I'm seeing it everywhere. Okay, I have to do some rearranging because I'm just not, I just don't have the, everything situated right. Okay, let me grab my notes. This is an easy box. We've actually made this exact box before. Eight by eight and a half thick, um, thick basic white. On the long side, you're gonna do one and three eighths three and seven eighths, five and a fourth, and seven and three fourths. And then you're gonna turn it on the short side and do one and three eighths, and, whoa, I almost did the wrong one, six and five eighths, okay? And you know, you depending on how you cut this box, you can have it open at the top, or you can have it open, you know, like, boop, like a, you know, I always think of the cream cheese box. You know how it opens. All right. I don't see. Oh, here it is. Okay. I'm like, where did my bone folder go? I have one that lives here on this table for Facebook Live specifically, and it looked like it was gone. But you want to burnish all those lines. So if you guys want to put it in order today, um, your projects will be 
um, the three Christmas Scotty projects that we did on Friday. I've actually already started working on them. So if you want those for free, make sure you get your order in by Monday at midnight. If you don't use the host code right here, then I think you don't want the projects. Now, there's a caveat to that, you guys know. If your order is over 150, you don't use the host code, you get freebies from Stampin' Up, and I still send you the projects. However, if your order is, say, like $45, and you don't use the host code, then I don't send you the projects. I assume you don't want them, which is fine, okay? But I go through the host code. That's how I see who wants the projects. Okay, so we have this skinny tab over here. I have cut these corners off, and then I cut the corners off the tab, all right? So the rectangles and then the corners. And then all you're gonna do is snip, 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 snippity snip, all right? Now, I am wondering if I have clothespins here for this box because when I finally put my tree up yesterday, guys, I just didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it at all. I don't know why I'm such a Grinch this year. But when I put my tree up, I came and stole clothespins to, you know, clip some of the little things to the tree. I have these little candy cane things that stick out. And so they're, they're gone. Most of them are gone. Okay, adhere that to that. <laughs> adhere the tab to the opposite side. Then fold in your, I'm not going to use glue anyway. We're just going to use stamp and seal. Fold in your sides, your back, and then the top. All right. And then put in your little Debbie cake, which my kids have stolen, apparently. Fold in the sides, the back, and the top. Um, I know, Trisha, I, the kids have said that. And you know what they said to me? They said that I said last Christmas, that was our last Christmas in this house. And I don't think I did. Because we hadn't even started on the house, really. I guess maybe I could have said, maybe it would have been, this would be our last Christmas. Well, I was wrong if I said that. But I know, this year we, we definitely are saying that a lot. This is the last Christmas. This is the last Thanksgiving. This is the last Halloween. Because, you know, the house will be done by then. Okay, so put your, I left the top open, right? Put your DSP like that. And I used seam binding on, the white seam binding on that original box. But I think that this cute iridescent trim is going to be cuter. And it's on sale. So we're going to use that and see how it looks. Okay, that will hold your box closed. The person who receives it can just untie the ribbon. They don't have to rip it open and destroy it. They can reuse it or they can display it <laughs> like the beautiful, you know, um, masterpiece that it is. All right, we're gonna stamp Christmas cheer in white. Now, you guys, this thing right here, the, I always call it the wrong thing, the embossing accessory kit, it's awesome, and it is carrying over, but this, I think this would make a great Christmas present if you have a mom, a sister, a friend, whoever, who likes to stamp, get them this, it comes with the little reverse tweezers, it comes with the embossing buddy, it comes, oh, look what I just did comes with a tray, um, let's try that again. And it comes with a little paintbrush as well. Let's see if I can pick that up the right way this time. Um, the paintbrush is to knock off any of, and I didn't use the embossing booty. Okay, trash, we're gonna get a new piece. That did not work. I also, while I'm here, need to find a hole, please. Oh, I need a heart die. Okay, can't find it. All right, let's try that again. Because I just smeared it, and then I didn't use embossing, buddy. Let's try that again. Okay. It's sticking to the table. I need to clean my table. That's the problem. All right. 
Christmas cheer right in the middle. Carefully pick it up and sprinkle. There we go. See, it's funny how it, when you do it the right way, it works. It works. All right, now I've got my heat tool on a different side of the table. Let's see if it's plugged in. Yep. So these uh, reversible tweezers, it's so that you can hold your paper without burning your fingertips off. I wish you guys could see my dogs. They're all lined up at the door, staring at me like an audience. But really, they just want more cookies. They don't care about anything else. Nothing else. All right, you'll know it's done when it's nice and shiny. All right. Now, I told you guys with the last project that we were gonna cut these candy canes out of this paper. Now, remember, I know the paper's gone, I'm sorry. But if you didn't get the paper, you can still get the stamps and the dies and you can just stamp your candy canes. So you have a lot of options here. I think I'm gonna use that one right there. Um, the other thing that you're gonna need, which I didn't get out because I didn't practice before, is my heart dies, hold on. Let's find the heart die. Here it is. From Give It A Whirl. Give It A Whirl dies are my most used dies, I think. Stylish Shapes, Give It A Whirl, and uh, Contour Scout. Those are my most used dies these days. All right, so cut out your little heart. Heart is good for any project. <laughs> Carla, yeah, right. I think Pepper's the queen, not me. She's like demanding cookies. Last night, we thought she, you know, we put them in the in the laundry room. That's where they sleep. And we thought she was upstairs with Emma. So we were going to bed and we came in and she was literally laying on my, with her, on my side of the bed with her head on my pillow. Like she was, this, you know, like a princess. Like dog, you are crazy. All right, so see how that works? Easy. Same with that. And then the, the other candy cane cuts out the other side like that. Okay? Makes it easy if you're going to do a bunch. All right. Now, again, you guys, why is so many things selling out before I can show them? And these were a carryover. I saw that these little snowflakes are gone too. It's crazy. I hope I got enough because we're using them for Club Create this month. Speaking of Club Create, what's today? The 5th. If you want to sign up for December's Club Create, you got to do it by Wednesday. And you have to email me for that link. It's not online. This month, Club Create is doing, we are using Snowman Magic. And... We're making non-Christmas cards because it'll arrive, it will not arrive in time for Christmas. It's for your January stamping. All right, there we go, like that. All right, and then all you do is put a couple of dimensionals here, straddle that ribbon, and put that like that. And there's your little Debbie cake box. Okay, now don't go. I have some more things to show you. Hold on. I have some other cards. I have a lot of cards using this set. Um, here's another one with that beautiful embossing folder in the back. The um, That glimmer paper is sold out, unfortunately. Gosh, man. Here are, uh, we did Club Create um, last month, right? November was Sweet Candy Canes. And these are the projects from there. Um, look right here, this die, see this right here? This is an awesome die, part of this set right here. This one, I cut out two of them and put them, flipped them like that to make that candy cane background, really fun. Um, that PDF, if you're looking for more fun ideas, is available in my PDF store. And then I've got some swaps. This is from Heather, my downline. She is a beautiful stamper. This one is from Jill. That's fun, simple, no die cutting required. I like this one, Nikki, very pretty. 
Very, very pretty. And then this one is from Laura. Got this in New Orleans. And let's see how it opens. Oh, this is one of those gate, now what are they called? Bridge cards. Isn't that pretty? It sits like that. We haven't made one of those in a while. We need to do that. Okay. There you go, you guys. This set makes a great um, set to have on hand for 3D projects, for treats, because it has candy. You know, it's easy. Um, if you're looking for measurements in supply lists, they're over on my blog, pinkfuckroo.com. There's no PDF this week or next week, remember. Trying to keep things simple. And here are the three projects. If you put your order in by tonight at midnight using that host code. I'm gonna send you these three projects we did on Friday for free. All right. Okay, you guys, thanks for joining me today. Um, I will not be live tomorrow. There will be pre-recorded videos tomorrow at um, pinkbuckaroo.com. Cindy, those are from um, Stampin' Storage, those magnet sheets. Um, and then I will hopefully be live again on Wednesday. And then we'll be pre-recorded Thursday and then live on Friday. All right, you guys. Thanks for joining me. I will see you in two days. Don't forget to go and enter the giveaway um, for the Hello Beautiful bundle. You guys have a great afternoon. Thanks, Patricia. <laughs> Bye.